Yes, testnet. We have updated binaries on the testnet. That looks like it's basically gotten gotten us through to the point where we've now resolved the issue with what looked initially like a memory leak. It turns out it's because we were going a bit too quickly in terms of expanding the testnet. We should have slowed down, let the first set of quorums establish itself before we started force feeding second set of, or well, the the absolute largest set of quorum uh, data into it. So that was <laughs> self-caused, but we identified it. It won't happen again. Uh, it's not something that can possibly be a problem on mainnet because the large sizes are already established. Yeah. What else is going on with the testnet? No, I, th I think that's it. We've proceeded now to upgrade 180 of the nodes on the testnet towards this new version. And uh, it, it's starting to look nice on the data it's returning. I have a question for Peggy. So people that are running the testnet nodes that are having the problems with it crashing, should, should they uh, delete their chain files and let it resync from the beginning? It seems like that's fixing the issue for people. Yeah, that was fixing the issue on the older version of the binaries and or they can just upgrade to the latest binaries, which Charlie swapped out. I believe it was last night. Okay. Yeah. So Deleting the chain files and letting it sync from scratch fixed it on the on the older version.